had a dual major in college, um, journalism and photography. Then became a newspaper reporter after college then went to uh, work for nonprofit organizations, but wound up being vice president of marketing of a national fast food chain when I was 30. I also had my own little freelance photography business in downtown Washington, D.C., where I was living at the time. Um, one of the things that was important to me is in choosing my Eileen's, because they last forever and they're so classic. I used to have brown hair. And so I had all this palette of brown things. And then when I went gray-haired, my color palette changed, and now I have all the grays. Coming up on 65 and I have a 17-year-old daughter, I thought that might have an impact on my life. <laughs> There's a lot of special needs kids out there, and it's not anything we're embarrassed about. It's, she knows she is, but she thinks special means special, and it does. The fact that I am an older mom is good because it's given me maturity and the patience probably that I might not have had in the younger years and also um, a more settled lifestyle. I, you know, I'm no longer rushing to try and create my career at the same time I'm trying to raise a child, which is, was important for Annie. She needed a lot more attention. Well, I am a 24-year breast cancer survivor. I've had a double mastectomy. I'd been dating my husband for three years at the time I found that I had breast cancer and he proposed between my 10th and 11th chemos when I was bald and a little overweight from the uh, prednisone that I was taking. And we got married two years later. I made him wait till my hair grew back. Well, we live in Colorado where are the 10 top places to retire in the country. Boulder's always in the top. It's wonderful because we do have 300 days of sunshine here. So we live on the hike and bike path, but it's all around town. So I'll often get on my bicycle rather than get my car out. It's a very athletic town. People here are fit, they want to be, because there's just so much to do. And so here was a company that was producing everything that worked together, whether it was matchy or just work, the kind of lifestyle I had going out so much and um, so varied, going to Girl Scout stuff and then going to the school to teach reading and then going out in the evening and then going to, for lunches, um, you know, and then volunteering somewhere. Um, you know, I could just grab it and go.